Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, The War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game with only a single soldier per mission. Uh, we have been ambushed and before we go into all of uh, the mission stuff, I want you to appreciate that I finally got a new graphic card and an SSD drive. The computer is like so much better running uh, XCOM. So I should be also doing very, very well with the new uh, um, War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen episodes. And you will hear me in a couple of um, the upcoming videos to talk about the new computer. Because I'm actually really, really excited about it. Good. So. Robin Hogbite, kind of do the mission together. We do have... Hogbite with the Skull Jack, and if we play our cards right, we can even um, use the Skull Jack to kill the Advent, um, the Advent Captain. So we're going to use that. First of all, they will drop down, like in every single mission. Both of our soldiers have. Let me just really quickly turn that a little bit down. Just a notch. Alright. So, we are going to see um, them landing here. Both of them have, uh, both of our operatives have, um, have Blade Storm. But since I don't want both of them to like go all out on the Advent Captain and kill him, we're actually not going to overwatch for once. The reason for that is that the Advent Captain usually starts running first, so if he takes a normal attack with Bladestorm and then afterwards a shotgun shot, he's not going to survive it. So we're just keeping it classy. Maybe a pistol overwatch, but that's about it. Good, here we go. Everyone lands around Hogbite. Oh, he has 18 hit points, so he can take a punch. Very well. Let's get ready to finish both of them. First of all, moving into cover. Roby got emplaceable, so we're putting him back just a bit further. Grinding up these focus levels, we're going to parry so that the captain will directly shoot at Hogbite. Gosh, it's still a little bit loud. Okay, hopefully that fixes it. Now. Let's school jack him. And make sure that, yep, we got it. Might as well get some intel out of it. There we go. 
I'm not sure if we can deal 13 hit points or uh, damage. There is a 70% chance that we're critting. Crit would need to be 9 points of damage. 9 points of damage would be enough, so it's about a 66% chance to actually kill it. Worst case scenario. But that's fine. We're going to take a hit. Let's see Psionic Bomb. By the way, it just disabled the weapon of its friend. Lol. They, they just disabled one another's weapons. <laughs> that is incredibly funny. Hogbite begins to <clears throat> get some more rent. And with that more focus. Plus we do have uh, Bladestorm. So we should be fine. As for Roby, he finishes the other codex. And that was one of our e most easy starters of a mission that we had so far. Plus, the school checking or the school hacking will help us a lot. Let me talk through a few thoughts that I had regarding the campaign. Because whenever there is a problem in XCOM, you just need to think um, hard enough. There's usually a solution to it. Now, our main problem at the moment is that we're uh, not being able to reach any of the facilities. However, I thought about maybe using the skull jack, uh, the advanced skull mining ability, which is an upgrade for the skull jack that essentially allows you to yeah, um, skull mine regularly certain um, advent types, shield bearer, priests and advent officers are the typical candidates for it. And the school mining has a distinct advantage by doing that. You can not only gain intel, but you also gain facility leads. And facility leads are exactly what we would need. With facility leads, we can eradicate the facilities from the globe and would probably have a very easy time from, uh, from afterwards on. At the moment we do have five uh, facilities essentially producing blips every so often but if we could get rid of that we would basically make our lives so much easier. The only problem to solve afterwards is how to deal with the Chosen, so I don't have an idea regarding that yet. Advent Shield Bearer, look at you. And there is a purifier right behind him, here. Okay, as for our options here, can't school jack again. This might be a kill. Nope. But we still have our eight. Uh, we still have our blade master. I guess be okay. Moving into full cover, Overwatch. I don't 
fear the purifier at all. He literally can do nothing against against Hawkbite. And thanks to the power of Bladestorm, we can deal with a loss. Ooh, I'm looking forward for our lost farming mission. Roby moves up. You know, might as well take him to kill the Advent. Advanced Perception, Superior Conditioning is super. That's three hit points right there. Advanced Perception isn't bad either. For once it feels like a mission is really easy. That's a good feeling. A very, very good feeling. Roby moves up. And that's the last enemy. Okay, putting ourselves in the typical camp. I'll show you one iteration of uh, camping. So that's not what we're going to do regularly. What we're going to do, I'll show you in a second. Let's give Roby a few kills. There we go. So, we're essentially positioning ourselves up here. If you stand on the balcony, they will spawn right underneath you. So, what we're doing is we're waiting for Lost Swarm to appear. Going down here. Yeah, he still is. Blade Storm. Yeah, I need to work on the fine tuning.
So, and essentially what we're going to do is we're waiting again and To prevent them from coming up here again, I'll just position myself downstairs and just to be safe, I think yeah, the Templar Bladestorm has 0% chance to miss. I was hoping they would just come up. So I need to optimize uh, the technique, but I think you have you see where this is going. This guy here died even without without uh, leaving a mark. So let me do a few of these and I'll be back. All right, and here we are <coughs> jumping back into the game. As you can see, I slaughtered a lot of the lo uh, loss. I have lost count in between. But that is a gigantic corpse pile. Started with Hogbite, did a little bit with Roby as well. And I think we should be fine for now. I'm yeah, around 150 again. I would be expecting that we're seeing at least one promotion uh, from both of them. Anyways, as I was saying, our next idea now that we have successfully reduced the Avatar project as well by one bleep is to mass produce the um, school jacks, i.e. get school, uh, school farming. And that should give us not only sufficient intel, but also get rid of all of uh, the facilities. And thanks to my faster computer, everything loads really, really fa uh, fast. Like I was saying, we got a promotion, by the way, 120 kills on four missions is uh, pretty impressive. So we got 21 points. I think arc wave is good, reflect is even better. Might as well get both, because why not? Roby gets untouchable. And is now a major, so we're pretty close to maximum rank with him. Still on a covert ops mission. Okay, never mind. Excellent work. Hopefully, the assets you recovered will prove useful. Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. Well, we get another engineer for free. That is lovely. Against the elders, we find nothing but success. And we got our overall. Uh, profile down to half of the bleeps, so we're doing really, really well. Got another promotion here, which I would probably like to take. Also, ability points, which are definitely helpful. Extra dodge isn't bad. The mobility isn't bad either. But for now, I would go with a promotion. Yep, 
even though that there is a chance that someone gets wounded, nine days is good. Yeah, and very soon we're going to have the next supply drop, so gotta be ready there anyways. Okay, that's important. We got our defense matrix and with enough power we can upgrade it. And let me suggest we're taking the resistance order for additional power. That way we don't need to put another engineer in here and can instead simply um, Upgraded and shift an engineer to the defense matrix itself. But if I find another wrapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's gonna be hell to pay. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. The alien encryption could be helpful because with a shadow chamber, uh, which is the building that we can build afterwards, we would be capable of um, we would be capable of seeing what exactly is happening on a mission. So that would be really helpful for us. Of course, shortly before the month's end, uh, Avatar, uh, the Avatar project ramps up. Wow. That's so unnecessary. Let's double check this here. Yeah. Well, I think after Larium we're going to go for power armor. That would be helpful. For now, let's do the month end and see what else we can get. So, it was overall a successful month. We got a lot done. This is a problem. And we're getting another retaliation mission very soon. Okay. Getting rid of the extra XP and instead taking the extra Avenger power. As you wish, Commander. Let's get the defense metrics going. So what we're going to do with the defense matrix here is we're definitely going to upgrade it, uh, upgrade it to quad towers. And for the time being, we're staffing our engineer here. Meaning it will take some time to get the power coil excavated, but having a defense matrix with four people on it, it's exactly what we need. Now, it is dangerous to have our Templar on the resistance ring missions. If we were to be ambushed, it feels we do have a good chance with those two, Roby and Hogbite, to effectively win the ambush. So I'm almost considering to leave both of them kind of in reserve until we fight off uh, the attack. Because elsewise, uh, this could be game over right here. Nice. So, personal combat, uh, so PCSs can be reused indefinitely. I think that's not bad because we can switch them out. Is it worth uh, waiting for powered armor? Yeah, because powered armor requires a mutant autopsy and we haven't killed a single mutant yet. Could go for plasma rifles soon, but I don't think that that is going to help us now. It's a good upgrade though. Um, we should go for it very soon. 
The PCS is, uh, could, could prove to be helpful though. And we don't have any immediate need to get to plasma weapons. Our weapons are as good as plasma weapons. Got ourselves another engineer. Oh, nice, and more Elerium uh, and alien alloys. Hogbite was almost ready. One of the chosen is the ship, Commander. They'll do whatever it takes to get you back. Since you continue to flee and I will come to you and we will fight. That is really bad. Well, we gotta defend the adventure no matter what. And it's probably going to be with a Reaper and with uh, our Ranger. Damn. I wanted Hogbite because I think that he by far would have uh, been the best damage dealer. Failing to have him on the mission is a bit risky. Well... We got to play it to the best of our abilities. It won't be easy, but I think we stand a good chance because we do have uh, the defense matrix. That essentially means four turrets and two soldiers for us. So we should be okay from a timing perspective. Depends again, uh, what sort of aliens are going to fight with against us. Maybe we can get some corpses though. Anyways, this is do or die now, so it is going to be very, very intense. Stay tuned and don't forget to hit the, the lovely like button and leave a comment down below. This year is getting really, really interesting. All right, see you soon, buddies, and take care. Bye-bye.